If you're only interested in the canon history of Dingar, check out the video I've already done on his appearances in the Clone Wars, films, and canon comics and books. For those of you that want to know his Legends history, this video is for you. Dingar was born on Corellia and grew up racing and repairing swoop bikes with his father. He was a very talented racer and became a cult hero for his home planet. He was often compared to another hotshot Corellian racer named Han Solo. Eager to prove he was superior, Dingar challenged Solo to an illegal race. During the competition, Han cut off Dingar's swoop, throwing him off, and burning his face in the exhaust. He sustained physical and neurological injuries that required him to become part cyborg, a process which removed emotions such as compassion and empathy. Imperial scientists performed the operation and purposefully altered him to become a rage and vengeance-fueled assassin. Many of those emotions Dingar directed at Solo. He deserted Imperial service to become a ruthless and highly successful bounty hunter. Very few of his targets were taken alive, however on one of his missions he rescued a woman named Manaru. Three years after the Battle of Yavin, he tracked Solo down to the Hoth system and arrived in the midst of the Battle of Hoth. Desperate for revenge, he still tried to reach the planet's surface, but was captured by the Empire. He was allowed to join the hunt for the Millennium Falcon, but was sabotaged by Boba Fett and helplessly watched Solo escape. He was able to track Fett to Cloud City, but was, of course, too late. There he was reunited with Manaru. She took pity on him and found a way to cybernetically share her emotions with him. He was able to feel human again and fell in love with her. But that didn't stop him from visiting Jabba's palace long enough to laugh in the face of a carbonite-frozen Han Solo. After Jabba's sail barge was destroyed, Dingar and Manaru traveled to the site to scavenge for valuables, but instead found a nearly dead Boba Fett, having escaped the Sarlacc. Despite Fett's previous sabotages, Dingar's newly recovered emotions caused him to spare and even take care of the fellow bounty hunter, who later became his best man at his wedding to Manaru. Fett and Dingar worked together to capture Solo for another six years until Dingar decided to let go of his vengeance, retire, and settle down with his wife. That's it for today. Please subscribe, like, and share to see new Star Wars videos every weekday. And if there's a specific Star Wars topic you'd like me to cover, leave it in the comments and I'll do an episode about it. As always, thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.